Hello everyone, it is Terry, no, also known as Not a Sin Jesus, which means nothing without Jesus, because that truly is who and what I am. This is Food for the Soul Presents. Hi. <laughs> I am your host for the Lost World. I'm in my garage and I had the, the daylight, which is actually kind of gray and cloudy outside, but it was better than so I just turned on the light. Anyway, um I've kind of been doing back to back videos today just because the Lord keeps putting things on my heart. What I want to talk to you right, right about right now is um, the truth. Being in love with, seeking after, and standing for the truth. Um, one of the things that's extremely important is we have to ask ourselves, is truth important to us even if it benefits someone we don't like? Or even if it helps someone that's not a good person? So we think, you know, are we still in love with the truth? Are we still interested in the truth and not just interested in it, but seeking after it, even when it's inconvenient for us? Because that's something we have to focus on too. Are we still wanting the truth to be known? Are we still seeking after the truth? And are we still standing on the truth, even when it's inconvenient to us and what it is that we want? As believers, that has to be the case. We not only have to stand on the truth, seek after the truth, and speak the truth, no matter what the circumstances, um, but we have to do it even when it's inconvenient to us, even when it might help somebody that we don't think is deserving or worthy, even if, even if it exonerates somebody that we feel like may be guilty of, of all kinds of things. But in this particular situation, the, it, the truth may help them if you, if you understand what i'm saying and i think that's i don't think i know that that is very important to the life of the believer and seeking the truth is also extremely important because we're living in a time right now where there's a lot going on and if you're burying your head in the sand and staying in the comfort and co and and, and convenience of your home and you're not paying attention to what's going on in our world not just taking in the information that's being fed to you but seeking information from alternative sources first and foremost praying praying and asking God to give you discernment and seeking um and, and testing everything in the scripture but like I was saying don't just take in what's being fed to you but also seeking after it um because everything you hear from certain sources is not always going to be accurate or true because everybody almost everybody has an alternative agenda they want what's best for them and their family and their personal agenda but we as believers have to be lovers of the truth seekers of the truth and willing to stand on and speak the truth even when it incon inconveniences us right because standing in the middle of um, a, congreg a congregation of Muslims in Iran or Iraq shouting from the top of your lungs Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life no one comes to the Father but by Him would be terribly inconvenient but it's the truth and we have to seek it, stand on it, and speak it even when it hurts us and especially when it's going to help somebody else regardless of how we feel about them that is the standard we have to have as children of God, as believers in his word and followers of Jesus Christ, because he spoke the truth and he paid for it dearly. He gave up his life for us. He gave up his life for us. And the reason they wanted him dead is because he was telling the truth. The reason they wanted to persecute him and get rid of him is because he was telling the truth. That's why he says if they if they um, hate me, they're going to hate you. They kill me, they're going to kill you. These are truths that we can't hide from. As followers of Jesus Christ, as believers, we have to allow the truth to hurt. Those times that the truth hurts, we have to let it be. We have to be in love with the truth. We have to stand on and we have to seek after it. It is not meant for a believer in this world to be comfortable. Because if we truly understand, understand that we're strangers in the world, there's going to, we're going to be made to feel uncomfortable. 
those that are in the world do not want us to be comfortable. They want to get rid of us. Just look at what they did to Jesus and how they treated Jesus. The chief priests and the, the, the Pharisees, his own people. He came through the people of Israel. He was born through the people of Israel. These were his people that, that chastised him, tried to condemn him, persecuted him, nailed him to a cross. His own people. So I want you to be encouraged to seek after the truth, stand on the truth, and speak the truth boldly, even when it's inconvenient. Even when it's inconvenient. And even when it helps somebody you feel may not deserve the help. We can't judge whether we should tell the truth. Should I tell the truth? Because if I tell the truth, it's going to help them and I don't like them. Or, or, or should I tell the truth? Because if I tell the truth, everybody in here is going to want me to leave. They're not going to like me. They're going to say things about me. Think about how Jesus lived his life, right? Think about the fact that whenever he spoke to, think about Paul. Paul wasn't the savior. Paul was a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Paul, listen, Paul was with the world. He was a zealot for for uh, um, the, the Old Testament scriptures and, and he was a, a scholar of those scriptures as well. And he worked diligently to persecute the church, to persecute the body of Christ, going to get uh, 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 believers and dragging them into jail and holding, he held the cloaks of those who stoned Stephen. But one day on the road to Damascus, everything changed and this man that once worked that once worked diligently to persecute and destroy the church the body of Christ now was telling the truth on the mountaintops boldly knowing that he was going to be persecuted by the very ones he was working for but he did not um he did not withdraw from that responsibility. He did not hide from what it was that he was called to do by the Lord. And if we're believers and we're called out of darkness into the glorious light and we're supposed to share the light with the rest of the world, then we, we have to do that. So we have so many examples of telling the truth when it's inconvenient. And we have to, we have to do that. We have to do that. We're called to do that. We cannot compromise on that. So I just wanted to say, share that with you real quick. I didn't want to be on here very long. I love you all so very much. I really do. Please put your prayer requests in the comments because the prayers of the righteous avail much. Prayer is very powerful and we should be doing a lot of praying in this season. We should be just doing a lot of praying, period, as a, as a standard of living. Praying should be a part of our everyday life as often as we possibly can. And then also, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer those. Put those in the comments. If there's a question that you have that I don't have the answer to, I'm not going to lie to you. I'll find the answer. And once I do, I will respond to you as soon as possible. And I'll give you the source for um, where I found that answer. Because um, I'm constantly reading the word of God and seeking for understanding. I'm not a scholar. But I want to help you. I want to do whatever I can to be a blessing to you through prayer, um, whatever it might be. So God bless you. Treat the word of God like oxygen. Because if you do not, you will suffocate in the worries and the distractions. And there's plenty of those in this world. God bless you and I'll see you in the next video.